Hey everyone, I'm Harrison. I'm going to talk today about uh, two things coming up for us. One being Fleek Network and the other being our new Fleek platform, which will be fleek.xyz. And so if you're not familiar with what Fleek is today, we are essentially best known for being a hosting platform. We allow people to host sites or apps on uh, different Web3 protocols such as IPFS or Filecoin, uh, the internet computer. We have support for Arweave coming in November. And um, so today we have over 65,000 dApps who are hosted on Fleek. Um, we do about half a million deployments each month. Um, and so, like, things are growing and it's going well, but today Fleek is mainly just a Web 2 or 2.5 platform, meaning it's primarily built using Web 2 infrastructure like AWS, Cloudflare, um, and we really want to move towards the Web 3 end of that spectrum uh, rather than continue being just a Web 2.5 business. And so to do that, uh, it's twofold what we're doing. One is we are launching uh, a new protocol that's called Fleek Network. And essentially what Fleek Network is, is a decentralized content and application delivery network. And so if you're not familiar with what an application delivery network is, it's essentially a term that was pioneered by Netlify and Vercel, where essentially they took the concept of a CDN and added a few other bells and whistles to make it like really purpose built for application hosting. So in addition to just content delivery, you know, they maybe have like edge handling or serverless functions or you know, different things that really give you everything you need to build modern apps. And they came up with something called the Jamstack, which is kind of like how a lot of apps are built today. Um, where you have a static front end and then just APIs that call out to different services and infrastructure you use. Um, and so the why we're building Fleek Network is that if you look at the industry today, everyone you know, using these different storage protocols, building on top of IPFS or Filecoin or Arweave or even the internet computer, it's just slow to query data or content from these protocols directly. And the reason for that is that none of these networks really incentivize performant delivery. Some of them have you know, expressed interest or are working on doing it, but a CDN is really like a different beast. The architecture is very different from like the architecture of you know, a traditional cloud platform or a storage protocol. The goal is to really have nodes geographically dispersed in tons of different locations so that when someone requests content, they get it from the nearest node rather than going to like a server that's sitting in a specific location. So if that server's in like US West and you're trying to query or get content from it as a user in Asia, it would be very slow. So you'd rather use a CDN where there's a node you know, very close to you that you could get the content from. And so it's definitely not very Web3 for all this content to be served by a Web2 company like Cloudflare. And so we just feel we're very well positioned given we've built such a big user base of dApps who are hosted on Fleek. We have experience building on top of these different protocols. We noticed the issue was the same across all these different protocols. So one of the cool parts about uh, Fleek Network is that it's agnostic to the underlying storage layer. So you could use it on top of IPFS, Filecoin, any of the Web3 storage protocols, any Web2 storage solution. A CDN can pretty much accelerate anything. And so that's something that we feel is a big benefit for Fleek Network because we have seen work being done for like st storage protocol specific content acceleration. But given where things are going with multi-chain and omni-chain, we just think that the agnostic approach that Fleek Network is taking is going to be really beneficial and preferred by a lot of developers building apps, especially for this sort of multi-chain or omni-chain future. Um, one of the cool things about Fleek Network is it will have the fastest time to first byte of any Web3 protocol. 
and that's due to some of like the architecture and some of just the technologies we're using as part of the protocol, which I'll touch on. Uh, but basically with designing the network, the things we're going for is for a CDN, you really need like super low latency, which is why we focused on our like North Store metric being time to first byte and super high throughput and bandwidth. And so one of the things that helps us accomplish this is using uh, Narwhal and Bullshark consensus. It was basically one of the technologies or breakthroughs that came out of the work Facebook was doing for their DM project. Uh, the Mist in Lab teams and the SWE protocol is basically who is, who is pioneering this work. But as an example, just to go back, uh, we were using hot stuff consensus at first, which is what Aptos uses. And with that, we were getting about 20,000 transactions per second per node. Then when we switched to Narwhal and Bullshark, we are able to get about 100,000 transactions per second per node. But with this consensus, one of the cool things is with every new node that we add to the network, that, that number of transactions per second is node specific. So you could scale transactions per second to the millions or billions as you add more nodes to this network. And that's really a perfect, like to build a CDN protocol like this, this is really like something that's critical because requests in a CDN network are very geographically specific. Nodes in Asia are really only gonna serve content to requests and clients and users in Asia. And so it really makes the network pretty much infinitely scalable but keeping that throughput super low latency. So this is like, I definitely think this consensus uh, is going to be like a big breakthrough for the industry in general, but we're super excited that we'll be one of the first protocols live in production using it um, for like not just like a smart contract platform, but for a use case specific to something like a CDN. Um, I'm gonna hurry up now, but everything is IPLD based and content addressed. That's another reason we're able to get such good performance out of Fleek Network. Uh, and one of the other cool parts is anyone can run a cache node. So you could run it on your laptop as long as you have good internet connection and upload speeds, like you'd be able to essentially participate in the network and earn Fleek tokens for serving content to users in your region. Uh, some of the roles in the network, um, besides cache nodes are indexers. And what's cool is actually for V1 of the architecture, the indexers we use or will use are Filecoin's global indexers because they're making a change to the protocol where they will accept new families of indexers. So indexers essentially help speed up content from cache nodes. And so when Juan was talking about like layer twos on top of Filecoin, Fleek Network will essentially be a, like a form of that because we will use Filecoin and their set of global indexers to not have to do it ourselves, but get the benefits to just even better performance for the cache nodes in serving data to, to end users uh, as quickly as possible. Another part are gateway nodes. These you couldn't run on your computer. This will require more like you know, sophisticated infrastructure, but this is also one of the ways we're able to get performance so, uh, like, good. Uh, the economic model is essentially, like, if you want to run a node and be a cache node, you stake, and then you're able to join the network and serve content, and then for each request you serve, you get paid. Um, and on the usage side, you stake, and that gets you a, an allocation of monthly bandwidth. So if your app grows, you just stake more, and then you're able to essentially consume more bandwidth. The testnet will launch in Q4, and uh, mainnet is, is probably gonna be Q2 of next year. Uh, the cool part is we'll just switch over all the fleek traffic. Users won't even know when it happens, because essentially, instead of pointing to Cloudflare URLs behind the scenes, they'll just be pointing to fleek network URLs. And what's cool is that, like, a lot of the different companies in the space pinning providers, you know, Pinata, Web3 Storage, everyone who might like today be viewed as a fleet competitor now actually becomes like our biggest customers for Fleek Network and they're all using Cloudflare. So Fleek Network is something that should be super attractive to them because we should be more performant and we should be way lower cost than Cloudflare and Web2 CDNs. Um, one other cool part I want to touch on is one of the 
like things I'm most excited about about Fleek Network is the um, data transparency side that it'll open up. Because one of the coolest parts about Web3 is that all the data is transparent. So you see people on Nansen who look at like what smart wallets are doing or what, you know, contracts are getting a ton of usage to know if it's like a hot NFT sale to look at. Um, well, now we'll be able to do that for the front end. So where Web3 is kind of breaking down like the interface specific platforms where now you have things like Lens Protocol where your content can exist on multiple interfaces, one of the challenges there is how do you build algorithms if you don't have the complete data set to know what content is being queried across all these other interfaces? So with Fleek Network, now you would be able to actually know across basically the entire internet what that content is doing, how many times it's being requested by what geographic regions. So we actually think that this Fleek Network data set will be used to power a lot of the algorithms for Web3 social platforms in the future because it's just basically going to tell the whole front end side of the story, which is how most of these platforms are powered today based on likes or requests or views and things like that. So I'm out of time, uh, but one other thing I wanted to just say about uh, Fleek XYZ. Uh, I tweeted this today, but for the new Fleek platform that's gonna launch in November, uh, it's fully open source, fully non-custodial, um, and it's got a super powerful plugin ecosystem, so anyone can extend the functionality of Fleek. Tons of different protocols are already building plugins. Um, but one of the cool things is all sites on the new Fleek platform are NFTs. And this was today that we tweeted, but um, we already have them working. And so this is showing on OpenSea, uh, site NFT deployed on Fleek. All sites will be NFTs by default. Um, and you could see that like the infrastructure and basically like build commands and everything that makes up that site is shown as traits on OpenSea for that NFT. So we're super excited. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, feel free to join our Discord or reach out. And thank you very much. <laughs>